Okay, so we have a very interesting question, which is under trig. So the question is saying, if sine alpha is equal to 1 over 3, where alpha is in second quadrant angle, find but 1 sine 3 alpha, but 2 tan 2 alpha. Okay, but here they are saying that it is in second quadrant, so we need to draw a Cartesian plane xy plane so here is going to be my xy plane and i've been told that this is in second in second quadrant okay so this is our second quadrant so it's going to be here then i'm going to put it like this okay now what we have to understand is that we can even have this so we are making a 90 here so meaning we have got the alpha which is going to be here okay so now we know that sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse and we know that this is our our opposite this is our hypotenuse and this is going to be our adjacent so what i want us to understand here is that since we are saying that opposite meaning this one is supposed to be here this is our opposite hypotenuse is going to be 3 so before we go anywhere we can find the adjacent okay finding adjacent let's just say that this is a okay let's just say that this is a this is b this is c and we know that uh, a or let me, let's start with c c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared we're trying to find the hypotenuse so finding the hypotenuse we know that is uh, this so in this case we want to find the what in this case we want to find the adjacent which is a okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to say that c squared minus b squared is going to be equal to a squared to find a it's going to be a the square root of c squared minus b squared okay so a is going to be equal to what is our c our c is 3 now we square it minus our b is 1 now we square it okay so we know that what we are going to have here is um we're going to have nine inside here we're going to have uh nine minus one which is going to be eight so we're going to have our a as square root of eight the square root of eight we don't know so we can just put it there to say the square root of eight so this part here is going to be the square root of eight okay we are done with that square root of 8 now we know that what we have to understand is that when we talk of uh, this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant this is the fourth quadrant all trig functions here sine cos tan they are positive in the first quadrant okay so or we can you can just say um all students see students take chemistry so what it means is that in, in first quadrant sine is positive cos is positive tan is positive in the th second quadrant only sign is positive that is student sign is positive the rest is negative okay then um, in the third in the third quadrant t is tan only tan is positive tan is positive the rest is negative in the fourth quadrant only cos is positive the rest is negative now after knowing this it's very very important for, for us to know that after knowing this what we have to understand now is that uh, we start now working with uh, the uh, part one which is saying sine 3 alpha okay so what I'm going to do before I go anywhere I'm going to find uh, we have the sine theta we have been told that sine theta which is sine alpha is the same thing is 1 divided by 3 so what will be our cos alpha we know that cos 
uh, cos is just basically the adjacent divided by what? Eh? The hypotenuse. So what we need to understand here is that eh, the adjacent is, uh, so cos alpha is going to be the adjacent is eh, 8 divided by the hypotenuse. But we have to remember to say cos is negative in the second quadrant. So I'm supposed to put what? I'm supposed to put a negative here. So this is going to give me negative the square root of 8 divided by what? 3. Now we can talk of the tan. Okay? So tan theta, which is tan alpha, is going to be, we know that tan is um, uh, the opposite divided by what is the adjacent. So even tan in the second quadrant is negative. So it's going to be negative 1 divided by the root of 8. Now, after doing that, you start now dealing with the questions. We have part A, which is saying we need to find sine 3 alpha. But we know that sine 3 alpha, this is the sum of the identities, where we can say this is the same as sine 2 alpha plus alpha. Because if I do 2 alpha plus alpha, it's going to give me 3 alpha. Okay? Now, what we have here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this with what I have there. So now I'm going to put here, I'm going to say that this is going to give me sine 2 alpha, okay, plus alpha. So what we have to understand here is simple and straightforward. Or let me write it this side. I have sine 2 alpha plus alpha. So we know that this is going to be the same as this is going to give us is 2. This is an identity. You need to know it. Okay. Uh, this is what we call the sum of the identity. So we have 2 alpha. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, sine 2. Sine 2 alpha cos alpha plus cos 2 alpha sine alpha. Okay, now what we have to understand from here is that eh, what we have here, this is an identity. This part here is an identity. Also, this is an identity. So, what you have to know is that eh, whenever you have, um, whenever you have sine sine 2 alpha, this is the same as 2 sine alpha cos alpha. Then whenever you have uh, cos 2 alpha, this is the same as 1 minus sine squared alpha. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, where there is this, I'm going to replace with this. Where there is this, I'm going to replace with it, this. So I'm going to continue there and say since I don't have space this side, I can light, I can put it here. I say cos 2 alpha is going to be 1 minus sine squared alpha. Okay, perfect. Now from here what I'm going to do is, I'm going now to start the repressing. So let me just get rid of this to create space. What I'm going to have now is going to be, this is going to be the same as whether sine 2 alpha, I'm going to put 2 sine uh, alpha cos alpha we have times cos alpha plus where there is that one I'm going to put 1 minus sine squared alpha then I'm going to say this then times sine alpha okay now we can see that this is cos alpha this is cos alpha so we can simplify that it's going to give us 2 sine alpha this is going to give us cos squared alpha, cos squared alpha plus, I can now distribute the alpha, alpha times 1 is going to give, uh, sine alpha times 1 is going to give us sine alpha minus, this is going to give us sine, it's going to give us, um, it's going to give us, although this one was supposed to be 2, we made a mistake just a bit, this was supposed to be, this is an identity where we say cos 2 alpha is the same as 1 minus 2. 
1 minus 2 sine alpha sine squared alpha so what I'm going to do is here I'm supposed to put a 2 so if I distribute that one I'm going to have 2 sine to the power 3 alpha okay now what I'm going to do from here is uh, I can get rid of this okay and then I'm going to say that uh, what I have here since now I only have sine and cos I can plug in the values and then I see the answer which I'm going to get now what is we have 2 okay what is our um, sine alpha okay sine alpha is 1 over 3 so I'm going to put 1 over 3 meaning I'm done with this this part here then times I also have another one cos so cos is what cos alpha is negative the square root of 8 divided by what divided by 3 but it has to be to the power 3 to the power 2 sorry to the power 2 then we say plus we have sine alpha again which is 1 over 3 okay then minus we have 2 sine is 1 over 3 and then from there what we are going to put to the power 3 because we have to the power 3 here now it's just a matter of us simplifying it we see what we are going to get this and this is going to give us uh, 2 over 3 uh, if we square this one is going to give us positive 8 uh, the square root negative the square root of 8 is going to give us just 8 so there's times here okay so we have 8 divided by 9 okay so we can just put them in brackets so that we should not be confused we have plus and then we have 1 over 3 minus this inside there is going to give us 1 over 9 so 1 over no uh, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 27 so uh, 1 over 27 times 2 is going to give us 2 divided by 27 okay so we can simplify this now which is going to give us uh, 2 times this 8 is going to give us 16 then 3 times this one is going to give us a 27 so plus 1 over 3 minus 2 over 27 now from here what we, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to to simplify we make it simple we have a 16 divided by 27 plus 1 over 3 minus 2 over 27 okay so here now we can see that uh, the lowest common denominator is going to be 27 27 into, 20, into 27 we have 1 1 times 16 we are going to have 16 3 into 27 we have um, we have a 9 9 times 1 is 9 27 into 27 1 1 times uh, 1 times 2 is going to give us negative 2 so 16 plus uh, 9 is giving us um, 25 okay 25 minus 2 23 so we have 23 divided by 27 so this is the answer so you say that uh, sine 3 alpha is equal to 23 23 divided by 27 so this happened to be our answer for part for part 1 now let's go to part 2 where is talking about tan now this is also an identity which you have to know and this one is dialect we have tan 2 alpha so tan 2 alpha is just basically um, this is the same as we can say this is the same as you have tan alpha plus alpha so tan alpha plus alpha is what is 2 so that's why we can say that is 2 alpha but this is an identity which you have to know so this one is giving us um it's an identity is 2 uh, tan alpha divided by 1 minus tan alpha but in a case where you have so this is when you have tan alpha plus tan alpha this is this 2 tan 
alpha or oh, this has to be squared let's not forget about that so we have 1 minus tan squared alpha now this is when there's when there's plus here then you put a minus there but if there is minus if there's one alpha minus maybe is two alpha minus alpha meaning that this sign is going to change when the denominator is supposed to be positive what i mean is this let's say we have something like this okay let's say we have uh tan maybe let's say is um, 2 alpha or let me put 3 3 alpha minus alpha if there is minus here then the sign has to change down there it's going to be 1 plus instead of minus that's what I mean so in this case we it's just direct where we can say uh, we have done then 2 alpha, this is the same as 2 tan alpha divided by 1 minus tan squared alpha. Now from here we can plug in the values direct. We can see that tan 2 alpha is going to be equal to, we have 2 uh, tan, tan alpha is what? We have negative, negative the square, or oh, negative 1 negative 1 divided by the square root of 8 then on the denominator there we have 1 minus again tan is uh, negative 1 divided by the square root of 8 now we have to square it so what I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of this to create space on top there what I'm going to have is uh, 2 times that one I'm going to have hmm, tan 2 alpha is going to be 2 is going to be a negative 2 divided by the square root of 8 everything divided by what this one if we square it we're going to have 1 minus now this is going to give us positive 1 then this one if we square it the square root of 8 we square it this root and the 2 will go will remain with 1 8 okay so we can get rid of this now so meaning that we can say that tan 2 alpha is going to be on top there we have negative 2 divided by the root of 2 then here if we have 1 minus 1 over 8 this is the same as we have 8 over 8 minus 1 over 8 it's the same you can even use the 1 for 1 minus 1 over 8 then you say the lowest common denominator is 8 and you find the answer but it's the same thing because 8 into 8 is going to give us 1 so we'll go back to this so if the denominators are the same what we do we we'll just put there 8 so 8 minus 1 is going to give us 7 so meaning down here we have 7 over 8 so what we have there is um, it is the same as uh, negative 2 the square root of 8 divided by 7 over 8 so what we're going to say now is going to be negative 2 over the square root of 8 times 8 divided by 7. So it's going to give us negative uh, 16 times divided by what 7 the root of 8. So that will happen to be our answer. So we'll say that uh, tan 2 alpha is going to be the square root of 6 divided by 7 root of 8. So this is our answer. So basically, this is how you work out such kind of question. Thank you for watching this video.